Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be using the programming language Python to add two matrices. I'm first gonna use NumPy to add two matrices, then I'll use a for loop. I think you'll appreciate this video. Click on Hey Now and skip around the video as you need. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account, Python Matrix Add. You can come and click on one of the files and just see the code, harvest what you need, and then you're all done. Let's get NumPy installed on your computer. Just go out to your prompt and type in PIP install NumPy. It should take a moment to go out there and download and install that locally on your computer. Let us add two matrices with NumPy. One, two, three, four. Let's call this matrix A, five, six, seven, eight. Let's call that matrix B. And then our results down here, let's call that matrix R. So you see here, I'm gonna say import NumPy as MP. Now my matrix one, notice that I'm creating an array, one, two. This is a two dimensional array and the data type will be an integer. Then on our second matrix, matrix B, gonna declare an array and the data type will also be integer. Then here's the magic. We're gonna use NumPy and we're just gonna call the add method. Notice that we just passed in the matrix A, the matrix B, it runs through the function add and produces the matrix R. Then notice here that I say print A comma and then I say end and notice that I have two new line characters. That's gonna give me nice spacing after each of the values. Let's run this and see what happens. Here you can see the array A, that's matrix A, matrix B, and here are the results. Let us solve matrix addition using two for loops. You can see that here on line 16 through 18. Now, of course, I need all this other code to get this to work but this is the key. Now, if we look over here, we see that we have a matrix plus a matrix, and then here kind of like shows us the math that we had to do, and then the results. So for this first matrix, I'm gonna call that A. And this second matrix, I'm gonna call B. And this final one, I'm gonna call matrix R, R for results. Now, how do we apply math on this doing for loops. Well, when we say one plus five, notice it kind of looks like this, one plus five, and then that's six in our results. So two plus a six is two plus six, that equals an eight. And on the bottom we say three plus a seven, that equals a 10, and a four plus an eight, and that equals 12. That's how addition is performed with the matrices. Now with source code, we can do that simply using two for loops because we're really concerned with just the array index. So this is zero comma zero. The row is zero, the column is zero. Here, we're still on row zero, but it's column one. As you notice here on line 17, this for C in range two, the valid values that come out of this are zero and one. Can you now see that this is zero, this is one for C? Now for R, that also has the range zero to one. Notice this first line is sub zero, the second line is sub one. So this little for loop just loops over this data and when I assign it to R, R sub C, it just puts it in the appropriate location. It's quite a simple solution. Let's now run this program and see it work. Come up to run, run module. And here you can see we printed A with uh, two new lines underneath it. The B, five, six, seven, eight, two lines. And then R, the results. You can see here that, you know, one plus five is six, two, six is eight, three, seven, 10, four, eight, 12. And there is the for loop implementation. 
And there you have it team, we just learned several ways to add a matrix. Of course, NumPy is the standard way. Learning about arrays, array indexes is just a good thing to know. Please leave a comment below to share your experience as well as ask any question about this video. Also, consider sharing this video with others you think might be helpful. I'd appreciate that. I'll see you back in my next video. Take care.